There's no denying that even the most modest Hollywood production tends to require the services of literally hundreds of on-set personnel. As a result, and in an age where everyone has high-quality cameras in their pocket, it's becoming increasingly tricky for filmmakers and studios to keep the lid on their top-secret projects. After all, Avengers Endgame's time travel twist was known months before Avengers Infinity War even came out due to some sneaky leaked set photos. But what if they don't even know the movie is being shot? That's the ingenious tactic pulled off by these 10 films, all of which were shot in complete secrecy, with their existence only being confirmed when it was basically done and just a few months away from release. I am Marcus Bronzy, this is What Culture, and here are 10 movies that were filmed in total Shh, secrecy. Number 10, 10 Cloverfield Lane. In a virtually unprecedented move at the time, Cloverfield's spin-off 10 Cloverfield Lane was announced less than two months before it hit the cinemas, by which point it was already deep in the final stages of post-production. Always one to love a mystery, producer J.J. Abrams had the movie shot under the unassuming title Valencia, and it was only during production that he committed to giving the low-budget sci-fi monster movie an immediate tie with Cloverfield. This was so covert that even two of the movie's stars, Mary Elizabeth Winstead and John Gallagher, weren't aware of exactly how how intimate the link between the two films would ultimately be, and Abrams only came up with the final title shortly before the first trailer dropped. As much of Abrams' love of the mystery box can frustrate, this was an undeniably genius feat of covert filmmaking and gotcha movie marketing. Number 9. Blair Witch Despite the Blair Witch Project being one of the most commercially successful horror films of all time for over 15 years, fans were left mystified that more of an attempt wasn't made to build it into an ongoing cinematic franchise. Bar that one sequel, let's not talk about that one too much, shall we? That all changed in the summer of 2016, though, when at San Diego Comic-Con, it was revealed that an upcoming found footage horror called The Woods was in fact a secret Blair Witch sequel which had been secretly conceived and shot over the span of several years. Impressively, despite the principal photography being completed well over a year before its Comic-Con reveal, barely a peep of the big reveal made its way online, and so fans of the franchise were completely gobsmacked to learn of the third film's existence. Number 8. Before Midnight with a mere $3 million budget and a small cast shooting the entire movie in Greece, Richard Linklater had a decidedly easier time keeping the production of the third entry into the Before franchise under wraps. Though fans speculated that Linklater may reunite with Ethan Hawke and Julie Delphi for a third film around 2012, marking another nine-year gap between the movies, Hawke and Delphi did a great job throwing fans off track. What they did was a little one-two. While Hawke talked up the prospect of the film in late 2011 and the summer of 2012, Delphi quickly denied that filming was taking place, causing most of us to forget about it for a while, thinking that Hawke was just giving it a bit of lip service. Only near the end of the film's 15-day shoot, with a cast and crew spotted in the country, and a short while later, Linklater, Hawke and Delphi confirmed in a joint statement that the film had been completed. It also goes without saying that the intimate production, free of swarming paparazzi and set spies, only helped to accentuate the wonderfully laid-back style and mood of this movie. Number 7. A Ghost Story most of the movies on this list were at least shot in secret with a sure intent to be released in cinemas. David Lowry's experimental art house drama A Ghost Story was filmed covertly with 150,000 of his own dollars, because he didn't even know if the concept would actually work. The film follows a white sheet wearing ghost played by Casey Affleck who attempts to reconnect with his bereft wife. Rooney Mara. With its lack of dialogue and extensive use of lengthy patience testing takes, namely the infamous five minute shot of Mara's character eating an entire pie, it could easily have fallen flat. Thankfully, things turned out for the better, and a ghost story was revealed to the world in November 2016, some four months after principal photography had wrapped and just two months before its Sundance premiere. Free of the pressure that comes with other people's money and an etched-in stone release date, Larry was free to swing for the fences creatively and it absolutely paid off with both rave reviews and modest box office success. Number 6. The Visit much like David Lowry, M. Night Shyamalan shot his found footage horror comedy The Visit with his own cash to ensure he had total creative freedom. After directing numerous big-budget duds, namely The Last Airbender and After Earth, Shyamalan decided to return to more modestly priced filmmaking and so decided to borrow a small five million against his own house. What, <laughs> what kind of house does he live in? To fund his new lo-fi project. 
Shooting began in secret in February 2014, less than nine months after After Earth was released to critical and commercial scorn. And once principal photography was completed, Shyamalan put the film through extensive post-production as well as tinkering with its tone. Though, according to the director, every major Hollywood studio passed on the film after viewing a rough cut. Universal eventually agreed to distribute it under their Blumhouse Productions label once he made some additional edits. The results of Shyamalan's making of a movie free of studio pressure on his own dime, it meant that The Visit was his best reviewed film since Signs almost 15 years prior. Number 5. Unsane In July 2017, it was announced that Steven Soderbergh had made a film in secret the month prior which had turned out to be Unsane, his experimental horror film starring Claire Foy, Joshua Leonard and Juno Temple. Soderbergh said no to cumbersome Hollywood production and shot the film entirely on an iPhone 7 Plus with an incredibly small crew allowing him to complete the film for just 1.2 million, much of which covered post-production costs in only 10 days. Despite its unconventional visual format, Unsane received a widely theatrical release and grossed almost 15 million worldwide, in addition to being warmly embraced by the critics. And so Unsane was proof that the very best directors can produce impressive results no matter what equipment they're working on. Number 4. Borat 2 this past summer, reports began to emerge that Sasha Baron Cohen had been spotted in costume as his iconic creation Borat, showing up in disguise at a right-wing rally and being caught filming a scene in a car as recently as August. By early September, rumours spread that not only had Cohen shot a Borat sequel with an anonymous director, presumably for fear of his reprisals, but that the film had been cut together and screened for select studio executives. A short time later, Amazon Studios confirmed that the Borat 2, or its full title, Borat, Gift of Pornographic Monkey to Vice Premier Mikkel Pence to make benefit recently diminished nation of Kazakhstan, would be released on Amazon Prime on October the 23rd. Additional reports stated that Cohen had to wear a bulletproof vest during two especially dicey days of filming, ensuring that the sequel immediately became one of the year's most anticipated must-see movies. That Cohen managed to film so much of it without being rumbled, especially with the Borat persona being so visible worldwide, is extremely impressive. Number 3. Victor Crowley at a 10th anniversary screening of his cult horror film Hatchet in 2017, director Adam Green revealed that fans would actually be treated to a new Hatchet sequel he'd secretly shot called Victor Crowley. Green had covertly made the film over a two-year period prior to its premiere, and the beauty of Hatchet being such a low-flying cult genre franchise is that he was able to do so without much fuss from fans or press. Ultimately, Victor Crowley was the best reviewed of all four Hatchet movies, and with Green confirming it was a commercial success, he's probably already taken up a fifth film. Knowing Green, who actually has a habit of shooting movies on the down low, there's every possibility that Hatchet 5 is already in the can. Number 2. El Camino, a Breaking Bad Movie the existence of a Breaking Bad spin-off movie was originally only confirmed by Netflix some six weeks before its release, roughly six months after the film's 50-day shoot had been completed. Writer-director Vince Gilligan went to extreme lengths to keep production a secret, such as casting minor roles without revealing the film's title and encouraging the cast and crew members not to tell their families what they are working on. Despite most of the film being shot in Albuquerque, much like the TV series, the shoot largely flew under the radar filmed under the working title Greenbrier, with most of the show's original crew members. When it came to shooting Brian Cranston's top-secret cameo as Walter White, the actor was flown to set via private jet and given a disguise to wear on his way from the airport whilst he was quartered away in an Airbnb for his two days of work. For Walt's scene in the diner, the extras consisted entirely of the crew and their family members. Throughout the shoot, actors were instructed to avoid offset contact with one another and flat out lie about the project if necessary. Well, it all paid off in the end when the fans were gobsmacked to learn that the movie wasn't only complete, but they had to wait just six weeks to watch it. Better still, it ended up delivering an effective postscript to the main series, well worth the cloak and dagger approach. Bravo. Number 1. Escape from Tomorrow. Escape from Tomorrow is unquestionably one of the most audacious secret filming projects ever to be conceived and successfully executed. Writer-director Randy Moore shot the film, a kind of David Lynch-esque surreal thriller about an unemployed father whose mental state unravels during a trip to Disneyland, on location at Disney World and Disneyland without any permits. 
It's well documented how ferociously protective Disney is of their IP, and so Moore had to take the most extreme measures to ensure the low-budget film's production was kept secret, despite being surrounded by literally thousands of people at any one moment. Moore had the cast keep their scripts on their phones whilst the video was shot with consumer-grade handheld cameras, and audio was captured with both phones and digital recorders taped to the cast members' bodies all day long. Moore even had the cast and crew stagger their entry into the park to avoid suspicion, and once the gargantuan task of shooting was complete, he flew all the way to South Korea to edit the film far away from Disney's reach. Even when it was set to premiere at the 2013 Sundance Film Festival, the film's liner notes didn't directly name Disney for fear that they would attempt to shut the screening down. Word spread of the film's ingenious conceit in the hours following its premiere, and despite the concerns that Disney would prevent Escape from Tomorrow ever being released, they sensibly decided to let it have its moment and quickly fade into semi-obscurity. So there you have it. If you know any more, let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to drop us a like and subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter at WhatCulture. And also, I'm there too at M-A-R-C-U-S-B-R-O-N-Z-Y. I've also got a podcast called How to Kill an Hour. Check that out where you find yours. See you next time.